What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Here is some exciting information for Samsung Galaxy phone users out there. According to iCNews on X, there is a brand new application which is coming up for the Galaxy phones and that is going to be called as Display Assistant Beta. Now he says one of the charms of Samsung One UI is the constantly expanding new features. Galaxy Labs has added a new tool, Display Assistant Beta. Now he has shared some screenshots here. Let me just show you that. As you can see, this is the screenshot from the Galaxy Store itself. Let me just translate this using circle to search. As you can see here on the top, it's Samsung App Store and this is an application which is under Galaxy Labs. Now you may be wondering what is this Galaxy Labs all about? Now this is something similar to Goodlock application. Goodlock app is a launcher on which we have got multiple different modules. Likewise, we have got something called Good Guardians under which we've got multiple different tools. Now if I'm not wrong, Galaxy Lab is nothing but the Good Guardians. Let me show you why I'm saying this. If I go and search for Galaxy Labs on the web, you can see there is a Galaxy Store page here which says Good Guardians, the new name of Galaxy Labs. Now I'm not sure why this particular application is uh, under Galaxy Labs or maybe this is developed by Galaxy Labs and this may be put under Good Guardians application itself which is currently not available in all the countries. Now Good Guardians is available in the US and Europe if I'm not wrong and I think in Korea it should be available. Let me know if you guys have the Good Guardian application in your region, drop a comment. Now when I tap on Good Guardians here, it says this content is no longer available for your phone. Contact the content provider if you want them to add support uh, for your phone. Now this has not been available, but we could always sideload this uh, through APKs. We can download the FineLock or NiceLock application and add Good Guardians. I will show you how to do that in a bit. But for now, let's check out what is coming up here. Uh, this may not be officially available, but this may come as an APK which we can install it. Now let me just uh, translate this again. You see the size is just about uh, 4.457 MB updated on December 20th, 2024, which is just today. And uh, there are some details here which I'm not able to see. Let's go to the next screenshot he has shared. Let me just translate this again. It says applications screen timeout. Set screen timeout for each application. Now we will be able to set screen timeout for each and every application, which is amazing. Then we have got keep screen on. The screen will stay on for 30 minutes. Then we have brightness limiting curve. We have got automatically adjust brightness options. Standard refresh rate application, extend battery life by applying a standard refresh rate to every application. So we can change the refresh rate for different application. We can customize it for each application, which is fantastic. Just in case if you have an application uh, on which you do not want 120 Hertz uh, uh, refresh rate on the display, then you can reduce it to 60 Hertz so that you can save some battery. Then we have got curtain, uh, extend battery life by using screen mode when you are not looking at the screen for long period of time this is another feature which has been added now let me just go to the next screenshot here let me translate this as well let's see what it says it says standard and light color in standard brightness is limited at high temperatures which means uh, if the phone is on high temperature while playing game the brightness is limited and if you select light color brightness can be maintained at high temperatures but the device cools slowly. So we've got brightness options here, which can be adjusted on the device if you're playing games or in any scenario where the device is on high temperatures. So these are some brand new additional features that we are going to get with this module, but some of them are already existing in, I think one of the uh, Goodlock modules, which I will show you in a bit. Here, Ice Universe has summarized what this uh, tool can do. Control the brightness duration of each application separately, unrestricted brightness at high temperatures, the speed at which screen brightness changes, curtain mode and can limit an application to a 60 hertz refresh rate one click screen on for 30 minutes so these are some additional features we are going to get with this application and this may not be available officially in different countries so what we can do is we can download fine lock or nice lock from play store let me show you that uh, let's go to google play store here now here let me search for fine lock you've got fine lock here i have already installed it once you have installed it, you will see all the modules right here. We've got all the uh, GoodLock modules. If you, if you don't have these GoodLock modules available in your country, you can install it through the APK. So you can just tap on one of the modules here and then install it. And here you can see under not installed, we've got a few GoodLock modules. We have got the Good Guardian modules. Let me install one of the modules here. Let me show you. Let me tap on Thermal Guardian. Thermal Guardian is not installed. I will visit FineLock homepage. And from here, you can download uh, the application, the APK. So here, just tap on the links. 
Let me find the links here. Yeah, the links is here. I'll tap on this. Now here you will see latest versions from APK Mirror. Select this and tap on all versions and done. And this is where you will see the modules. Let me select Thermal Guardian. And here we go. We have got the APK. You can select the latest version here. Here we go. We can scroll down and tap on this particular version here and we can tap on download to install this APK. The size is about 4 uh, MB. I'll tap on download. The file is anyways downloaded. Now to install it, I need to make sure the auto blocker is turned off. I'll go to the security settings and auto blocker. I'll disable this. Now uh, we can install the APK. Let me go to files. I just downloaded this APK. I'll tap on settings, allow permissions. and install it. Now the app has been installed. Now we can open NiceLock application. You can see we have got the Thermal Guardian already installed. I can just tap on this to open the application. So this is just one example I have given you. Likewise, you can download different uh, modules from Good Guardians, which is nothing but Galaxy Labs. And this new app we are talking about might also be available as an APK in the coming days. So let's wait for that. Uh, let me just search and see if we have got this particular module. Let me check the module name here, Display Assistant Beta. Let's see if we have got Display Assistant Beta as APK. Now we don't have the APK yet, so uh, this might take some time for us to get it. So if we get this application, it is gonna be really amazing. I will keep you guys posted as and when we have the APK for a Display Assistant Beta under Galaxy Labs, so stay tuned for that video. That's about it, that's all I wanted to share with you guys in this video. If you're interested in this beautiful looking wallpaper, you can go ahead and check out the link in the description. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead, subscribe, you get to learn a lot about your Galaxy phone, Android phone, and anything related to tech and yeah do not forget to hit that like button if you find this video informative thanks for watching you guys take care and stay safe cheers bye bye